Welcome to the Daily Dev Talk with me, Adrian Nanchev, where we explore and share experiences, stories and lessons seven days a week from across the games industry, helping you make the best game you can. Stay tuned for today's episode. Good morning, Overload Nation. Welcome to another episode of the Daily Dev Talk, talking to game developers from across the world to bring you experiences, stories and lessons seven days a week. Today, I'm joined with Dong Hun Lee from 14 Dimension Enterprise to talk about his latest game, Perfection of Wisdom. Lee, please talk about how you got into the games industry. Yes, hi there. Uh, I am Lee and I am game designer and programmer. I was also a Famicom kid from 1980s console ages. Uh, and my, rise, my latest game is Game of Dragons. Fantasy card RPG game started Kickstarter campaign a few days ago. Okay. So, uh, how long have you been in the games industry? Yes, I started and founded 14 Dimension at 2009 in South Korea. Started as a book publisher. Then from 2011 year, and until now, have been concentrated on game development. So maybe as four or five years. That's that's pretty cool. So tell us about fourteen dimensions. How many people are in the studio, and uh, what is the structure like? Yes, uh, fourteen dimension is started by one man, myself, and. Now, currently, there are three guys. Mm -hmm. yes. And we are most uh, concentrated on game development. Okay, that's very good to know. So, tell us about your latest game, Perfection of Wisdom, and what you wanted the player to experience. Yes, uh... Actually, uh, Perfection of Wisdom is my second game developed in uh, 2011 and uh, recently released at Steam platform. So it was, uh, it is a card, card battle game. And actually, so uh, my, late, my, my latest game is uh, Game of Dragons which is a RPG strategy card game where you can manage your own card deck like Magic the Gathering. With that, you can adventure the map and resolve various encounters while adventure and also battle with enemies. I wanted user would have experiences more strategic and more fun game play rather than other normal 4x strategy game and also rather than just card battle game. Okay. So, when it came to promoting the game, what worked and what didn't work so well? So, uh, from my experience, personal experience, uh, presentation with fresh game concept worked well. For example, I released a mobile game with concept of managing publishing company on your own. Game title is Publisher Tycoon. Worked well and received good user's review. On the other hand, bad naming or somewhat not fresh concept game did not go well. Mm -hmm. So how did you go about funding these games? I funded all my games myself alone. Nobody helped. This method is not working anymore because gamers standard is as high as AAA games while indie games can't afford that requirements with few developers nor low budget. Mm -hmm. Okay, I understand. So I'm curious then, what was cut from the game and why? Many parts cut because of lack of fund. I wanted more illustration, graphic assets, especially animations, 
but I couldn't input them enough, most because of lack of fund manpower. Mm -hmm. So I'm curious then, what was the biggest thing you learned while working on the game? Almost all games become more and more sound and polished as many, as many people involved as possible. There needs tremendous works and decisions to make one game. One man or a few men can't do them all in time. So more people, developers, are always welcome. I like mm -hmm. this sense, so this is why I remain in this game business area. Okay. So what was the worst thing that happened and how did you overcome it? I should have made multiplayer feature for my game, Perfection of Wisdom, now released as Steam. Actually, I did not have experiences about making game server. So I contacted another programmer. He made access to his game server so I could connect my game to his server. Mm -hmm. So it sounded there's a problem with uh, multiplayer and server side. Yes. Mm -hmm. So what was the best game dev purchase you made? Uh, Unity Game Engine License. Without Unity introduced in South Korea at 2010 year, I couldn't join game development area. Okay, I understand that. So what was the... Um, what game developer related book, lecture or learning resource can you recommend? Book named Headfirst C Sharp. Very useful to understand the C Sharp programming language for Unity game engine, also because Unity engine supports C Sharp. So Headfirst C Sharp, yes, Headfirst. Yeah, interesting, Headfirst C Sharp. Huh. So, like an Evernote or Trello, do you have a useful or productivity enhancing software, app, extension, or website? Uh, Visual Studio 2015 is truly best editor while developing game by Unity. Visual editor, okay. And Dong Hun, what advice can you give to aspiring game developers, small indie studios, and people trying to get to where you are today? Actually, there are many indies already doing well, but also there are many indies who have struggling with many issues, including me. So I don't have special advices for others, but for myself, I will be more focused on incredible revolutionary game design. Because indie developer can't compete with AAA Studio at game graphics, animation field. And also, I will try to shorten the develop period as short as possible. Because gamers' favorite trend is always changing. So long develop period results in very danger to indies. So you're saying that if a game takes too long to make, this is bad for the studio? Yes, yes. I agree. So, what is next for you, and what is the best way to contact you? Uh, yes, my contact uh, via email is good. And what is that email address? Uh, yes, um, WS xdrfv at hanmail.net so or alternatively just uh, to admin at 14 dimension dot com mm -hmm. 14 dimension dot com yes admin at yes well uh, Lee it appears that that's all we have time for for this episode of the Daily Dev Talk. Ah, uh, yes. It was, it was great to talk to you, even even briefly. It was great to talk to you. And there's always words of wisdom that everyone can learn from, that everyone has uh, through their experiences. I wish you well on your future endeavours. 
Stay tuned, Overload Nation. More videos to come. Thanks for listening to today's episode of the Daily Dev Talk with me, Adrian Nanchev. If you are a game developer that wants to get your name and game out there and to share your experiences and stories, or you have feedback or opinions of the show, then contact me at info at gameoverload.co.uk. That's info at gameoverload.co.uk. Stay tuned for tomorrow's episode. More to come.